Okay, it seems that I have radically perplexed some people. Now, uh, let's take a look at uh, page 75 of the user manual of the Nikon D810. I am able to take an image sample assuming the exact same distance between a full frame camera and a DX and uh, I can take the exact same lens on the Nikon D810 and put it in DX format. I have the exact same distance, same exposure, everything else what is the difference? Okay, Nikon D810 is a 36 megapixel camera. If I place it into DX crop sensor mode, it is a 15.4 megapixel camera. Okay, now both of these are taken with the exact same exposure, exact same distance, exact same lens. This was actually using the uh, 1755 Nikkor and the same lens on the Nikon D810. Okay, so now what's the difference here? There is absolutely no difference outside of what happens after it strikes the sensor. It strikes a completely different sensor. Is one closer than the other? No, they're both exactly the same difference. Same distance, excuse me. So what happens if I were to take the image from the Nikon D810 and crop out the center portion? Now, it is the case that you can turn on and off on any full-frame Nikon DSLR automatic DX crop mode. In other words, the camera knows that you put a DX lens onto it. It handshakes with the lens and says, hey, this is a DX lens. And it can automatically stick it into crop mode, in which case it would take the exact same picture as this as taken on the Nikon D500. Okay, so knowing that, let's take a look at both of them. We have the Nikon D500 here. Let's assume I took this is exactly uh, at this uh, exact distance from the Nikon D500. Now I cropped it very, very slightly. So let's just assume it's 20.9 megapixels. Now you can actually see here the difference between uh, the untouched JPEGs between the Nikon D500 and the Nikon D810. 10.6 uh, megabits, this is a JPEG fine. Obviously I took raw files, I'm just using this for demonstration. Nikon D810 is 20. Okay, so basically twice the size. Now actually after I cropped both of them exactly the same, Okay, we got 3.4 versus 1.9. You can even kind of see it in the file. So this is the D810 image, and this is the Nikon D500 image. Now the question to you is, what is the difference? You see, both of these are the same. Exact same image. Now they do have different noise. That is because here we are looking at a 20.9 megapixel image, and here we are looking at a 15.4 megapixel image from the 36 megapixel Nikon D810. Now the question is, and here's the mystery that seems to confuse people, since I took these images on the Nikon D810 with the Automatics DX crop mode off and it captured the image on the entire full frame of the sensor, so as you can see here, okay, D500, D810, that there is a difference here. There is not. There is no difference between me taking this image and cropping out the center portion here or having the Nikon D810 resize its image sampling of the sensor. There is absolutely no difference. If I have the camera in automatic DX crop mode, it is not using the entire image sensor for the sampling. Now, the, the 17 to 55 is kind of a bad example. Um, a lot of DX lenses will have heavy vignetting in the corners, and you know, there is a serious reason why you want to uh, crop uh, the image of using a DX lens on a full frame camera. There are reasons, too. There are some really awesome, uh, not many, DX crop sensor lenses that you would want to use on a full frame camera, and the Nikon D810 is not shabby. Even in DX crop mode, we're talking about 15.4 megapixels. I mean, hell, even the Nikon D3 is only a 12 megapixel camera. So even in DX crop mode, the Nikon D810 is shooting out more information, shooting out more megapixels in DX crop mode than the Nikon D3 or D700 is in full frame mode. Make that abundantly clear, 12 megapixels versus 15.4, fine. So the point is, is that even though the camera was not in DX crop mode and taking this image, there's no difference between uh, taking this image in full frame mode and cropping out to the center portion 
than there is in having automatic DX crop mode set on the camera because either way you're cutting out the exact same portion of the image as would correspond to that which is captured on the image sensor in automatic DX crop mode. So no difference between taking it like this and cropping this out or sticking the camera in DX crop mode. Both will result in the exact same image and both will result in a 15.4 megapixel sampling. Okay, You can either sample it at the sensor in camera or I can crop it here and sample this is a 36 megapixel image. But if I sample this portion right here, then I've sampled a 15.4 megapixel section. Okay, well you could say, well you could move closer. Yeah, but that's not the point. There are a lot of times in photography where you can't move closer. The point isn't whether I can move closer or not. In this case, I certainly could have moved closer, but that's not the damn point. The point is everything being equal, exact same lens, exact same distance, exact same exposure, exact same depth of field. What's the difference? 20.9 megapixels here, and uh, with this cropped out here, we're looking at 15.4. There is not more noise by putting, contrary to another person's video, there is absolutely not more noise by putting this DX crop sensor uh, lens onto uh, the uh, full frame Nikon D810. Let me enlarge it. Okay. This has confused people too. It's confused the hell out of some people. No, I mean, some people are, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't want to use the word that I'm thinking of, but uh, I don't know why it's confused some people. Okay, we're taking a look at both. Noise is not lower resolution. Lower resolution is not noise. Let's uh, make both of these about the same. Okay, I'm waiting for the computer to catch up here on the image, which it may not catch up. We have more pixelation here. Now take a look at these uh, edges of the stamps right here. You can actually see it there. Also in the lettering, but it's easier to see on these cutouts of the stamp. You see this smoother transition right here and this heavy pixelation? Yeah, because over here on the left, we got a 20.9 megapixel image. Over here on the right, we have a 15.4. There is not more noise over here on the right on the Nikon D810. There is less resolution. And less resolution is not noise. Noise is not resolution. Resolution is not noise. However, it could easily be confused for that. But there's definitely not more noise here on the right on the DA10. Okay. Thanks for... I hope I cleared that up. Bye.